Senator Warren. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your holding this long overdue hearing. You know, there's no better investment in our future than an investment in child care to help mamas and daddies get to work and to give our babies a strong start. Right now, the U.S. ranks 33rd out of the 37 richest nations on earth in childcare investments. And a major reason is because every year, Congress decides how much childcare funding to appropriate. And every year, it is a fight with anti-government extremists who want to cut programs that help American families while cutting taxes for rich people. Meanwhile, there's a program in this committee's jurisdiction called the Child Care Entitlement to States, or CCES, that provides some permanent funding outside the appropriations process that families can actually rely on. It is not nearly enough, which is why Chairman Wyden and I introduced our Building Child Care for a Better Future Act to expand CCES and make long-term investments in child care. Now, Dr. Pratt, you're an expert in early education and child care shortages. Why is the child care market so broken? Thank you, Senator Warren. The child care system is is based is primarily funded by parents. Parents shoulder the burden of funding the system. There is government funding, but states, including Oregon, have contributed quite a bit to, to bolster the federal spending, and it, it's just not enough. Um, so there's not enough supply, and families are really struggling to find it. Okay, so bottom line, we need more supply. But providers and their staff are living paycheck to paycheck, barely able to keep their doors open, much less add more slots and lower the fees that they charge to the families in their communities. An insurance premium increase, a rent hike, a few families pulling their kids out, any of these can push a provider over the edge and out of business. So Dr. Pratt, for that provider who's operating on the razor's edge, what impact does reliable long-term government funding have in terms of the investments that the child care provider can make and the services they can provide? Based, um, it allows providers to plan ahead. It allows providers to think beyond um, the paycheck to paycheck on their end and month to month to even consider increasing wages, to expand slots, perhaps reopen care for infants and toddlers that they may have had to close because it was too expensive. Okay, all right, so they can make better investments and more investments. Now, while other nations have invested in universal childcare, what did the United States do? We cut taxes for the wealthy and the well-connected. The $2 trillion 2017 Republican tax cuts were just the latest giveaway, and now lobbyists are drooling over the possibility of trillions more in tax cuts next year when a big chunk of the 2017 laws expire. Ms. Gosgraves, you're the president and CEO of the National Women's Law Center. You know a thing or two about smart investments in American families. As the Finance Committee considers where to put federal dollars, does it make sense to give more tax breaks to billionaires and billion dollar corporations or to invest in childcare? I don't think billionaires need more tax cuts, but families definitely need more child care. And in fact, having more child care available and accessible, that will help businesses for sure. Yeah. So when we think about just our economy overall, not just, not just mamas and daddies, but everybody in our economy, we do better when we invest in our children. You know, in fact, research shows that for every $1 we invest in child care, we get $12 back by keeping parents in the workforce and jump-starting the education of our workers of the future. And that is why I am working with Chairman Wyden and other committee members to make long-term investments in child care supply from boosting child care worker pay to supporting professional development with apprenticeships and in partnerships with unions. The choice before this committee is clear. 
Are we going to be a nation that invests in our future and supports parents trying to find good, affordable care for their children and invests in the people who do the work of caring for our children? Or are we going to be a nation that just keeps throwing tax breaks at billionaires? I think families are counting on us, and that's where we need to make our investments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator, Senator Warren. Senator Warren uh, touched on the area I began with as, as 